Let's learn from the scripture second kings. Are you to tell me in chingla muri di khoshi chabubedi? Chapter 3. Chapter 3. Second Kings chapter 3. Di khoshi chabubedi chapter 3. We read from verse 4. Revale ngoto wa verse 4. Today I want to teach you a very simple thing you need to do. Lekhon promoted in the spirit. Kinyo ko li rotan tre bonolo le tsancho le dire o le tedi thatuswe momoyeng. A position of serving. Na kinyo ko le le khono re bolela ka taba ya siemo ha o hlankela. You can write a bracket serve with a pure heart. Hlankela ka pilu e hlwekileng ka ra di brackets. Serving is just a position but it's a temporal position. Mara ka le mo re o thankela ino ba siemo tso ko se itseng mara ke sana kwana. Especially when you serve with a pure heart because there is promotion. So, always a temporal position prepares you for me, a permanent one. Me tayo yo te siemo sana kwa na si uluki secha sa si se sta dulang se lo ona. In other words, when you start to serve God, you Dono. are being prepared How for the la position that no one can remove you. Oya luki soro ye siemo se a humu tata utusha. God will really want to raise someone. Mudi mwa nyako paka mister pa misa mtu mwe. He want people who will do things without being noticed. Onya ka batu ba udira seal dilo isengo re ba bonwe. Notification. From men does Ol, not bring any profit. Because notification can bring wages. It can bring maybe an applaud. When you serve God with a pure heart, you learn not to compromise. This is the time that you do something that people, even when you are promoted, they have to remember you. Kinna kwa ya orle na leo dia se singwe se batu batari haba leba le lebele la lehe u tatu sijwe basi leba le kasona. Sometimes when you serve God, na wachete ngwa utanke la mudi. People end up forgetting because of your character. Batu ba u leba la ngere kala bagala me kwa ya hau. This is the time that when God lifts you up out of your saving, the character does not change. You still remain the same. The character does not change. Me kwa isa fitore. You still remain the same. Wana dula ole mutoe na yela wakhali. I have seen many people being raised and they change. Kiboni batu ba nchi mudi ma ba tatu sababu fitore. Joshua verse chapter one. Kinyo koreki yuo ba la mo la Joshua chapter one. Joshua chapter one. Joshua chapter 1 from verse 1 to 4. Utwa u verse 1 riyo ubala u verse 4. When God want to raise you. Ha mudi manya ko pa amisa. When God want to promote you. Ha mudi manya ko tatusa. Where you are saving. Ana mo thankela ngoli te. Just remain faithful. Ha ko dule u sepahala. If you can remain faithful in what you're doing. Ha ko dule u sepahala te ucho u didi yao. There are lesson you will learn. Wona li tuto ta ituto chona. That will be required in the future. Jadi ta nyake ya anka usani. What you are doing now. Nto u idi yang anajwale. Is what you are going to allow other people to do. Because there's a promotion that is coming your way. If you fail to be faithful in someone's way, God will never give you your own. Many of you want to be having an assignment, but you are not faithful on other people's work. Forget about your own assignment. Because your assignment will be born. When your faithfulness is fulfilled, I say your assignment will be born. When your faithfulness is fulfilled, you are being checked and you are being noticed by God. And if you are on that line, that the, on due time, God will appoint you to move forward. We have got almost five groups in the church. And the first group is the hypocrites. The hypocrites are there to deceive others. But we have got position seekers which are there to rebel. We also have blessing seekers who are not there to stay in the church. And we also have poor people 
who are there to be fed in the But we also have servants who are there to be promoted. And I believe you are a servant. As you are serving God, I see God lifting you. In the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 42. Can you just read 42 to 48? Saving, what are you it you have got its own end time. It you have got its own proper time. A time of a blessing. A time of a reward. Listen to this. I'm here to tell you that whatever you are doing now, do it in your, with your all heart. Do it and you'll get criticism. You'll get opposers. But there's an appointed time. I don't know if you're hearing me. I said there's an appointed time. When that time comes, even your opposers will congratulate you. Joshua 24 verse 15. I found that serving God is a matter of choice. You decide. You can be rejected or you can face opposition but your decision matters. You can tell yourself that I'm not stopping until God tells me to stop. I don't know if you're here. I say you are serving God. You serve God can be opposed, can be defeated, can be fall. He who serve God will move up because God is with you. Daniel. Let's read Daniel 6 verse 19. Any situation it demands your service. Your opposers are demanding your saving. Many times when we get promotion, we forget God. We get out from saving God. There is someone who's here. You're in a place of no escape. But I want to tell you, the God that you are serving is about to open a way for you. When God is with you, you will allow them to put you in a place of a test. But because you are serving God, you will open a way for you. But when they enter the same place, oh my God, whoever is doing anything against you, whatever is doing on you, you will experience it also. If you are serving God, if you are serving God, the one who is accusing you will be accused. The one who is fighting you will, be, will, be, will get a fight. The one who is trying to witch you will be witched. I don't know if you are hearing me. This is the good news for us. This is the good news. It makes us not to fight back. It makes us to know that what they are doing to us, they are about to experience that. You carry on serving God, and the God that you serve is about to open a door in front of them. They will witness your testimony, and they are about to witness what God is doing in your life. If you believe, shout hallelujah. X. Let's X 27. From 21, from 21, the God that you serve will take you to your assignment no matter what you are losing. I don't care whether you have lost something in your life, but you are on a journey where God has appointed. If you believe so, hallelujah. You can dominate by saving. You become stupid while you are. When you are becoming stupid, you are being prepared for the position where no one can take it. I see someone here. I say you will dominate by saving. Saving God does not change your skin. It does not change your color. But it makes you to be available and visible. When people think you won't be visible, they will notice you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. When you start to serve God, 
there is discouragement. I want to tell you your three enemies. When you serve God. The first one. Is discouragement. Therefore you will meet discouragers. Those who have retired. Those who wanted things. And they could not get them. You will meet them just to make you tired. Don't be tired. I said, don't be tired. Where you are going is closer. Job 36. Job 36. Job 36. Verse 11. Verse 11. Job 36. Oh, Jesus. Verse 11. It's only serving God that wants you to reach a level where there is prosperity. Prosperity. I speak prosperity. I say speak prosperity to those who are serving.